Good afternoon. In the context of the relegation battle, I think this one's huge. The other three teams in the bottom four have all got to come to Longmead. A win for Tunbridge today. It's a nine-point cushion. A Billericay win closes that gap to three. Billericay go with the same 11 who started the 2-0 win against Dulwich in their last game. Two weeks since Tunbridge played a full first-team game and two changes from that match against Bromley. Smith, Joseph and Coombs in. Hudson starts a three-game ban and Tommy Wood, his heel injury, restricts him to a place on the bench. Ben Hermitage's performance in the Kent Senior Cup earned him a place on the substitutes bench. Longmead is a beautiful ground when it's sunny like this. Let's hope the football is beautiful too. Zach and Wandy on the left-hand side for Billericay. Goes out of play. Corner to the visitors. Taken by Josh Wright. Right-hand side. Gavin comes up. Off the bar. Wow. Billericay mean business. The loney from Charlton. Hitting the frame early on. And there's Coombs. Can't quite credit, thread it through. Turner goes right. Well, comes inside and earns the free kick. Foul by Ochen. So early set piece for Tunbridge. Smith Joseph floating it in. Could be a bit of space for Turner to work on right outside. Stevenson chasing him. He might need to touch it back to fielding. Or indeed go inside. Where he finds James Taylor. Taylor, nice ball to fielding. Fielding delivers a first time cross. Anything could have happened there. Love it in. Here's Coombs. Trying to create a little bit of space. Oh, you know what they all want. Referee didn't deem it sufficient contact to earn a spot kick. Fielding and Turner combining well right-hand side. Here's Fielding. Needed to be headed out by Halford. One of two players with Premier League experience in the Billericay squad. As well as him, there's Simon Cox on the uh, bench for Billericay today. Parkinson winning it in midfield, but Billericay win it back. Goes down the right-hand side. Akinwondu perhaps with the chance to pull up there. Perhaps he knew that Henley was the favourite to get that one first. Smith-Joseph's won it. What can he do with this? It's Smith-Joseph. It's charged down. It's Taylor. Well saved with the legs of Wala. And there goes the whistle for half time. Not much of note in the first 45 minutes. Does that suit Tunbridge more than it suits Billericay? I can wonder he's got a little bit away there from fielding. And wins a free kick. The foul by Brian Barrett has come off worse. Josh Wright with it. Well, a bit of a slip from Henley. But confidently collected. Brian Barrett forward. Flicked on by Beer. A touch back to Beer. To Taylor. To Turner, right hand side for Tunbridge. Joe Turner, saved again by Waller. Eventually getting these shots in on target at Tunbridge. But a flag was up anyway. Coombs does well to get away from two men there. Does he win a free kick? He does. So interesting set piece for Tunbridge. Right footed by Beer, fielding underneath it. It's back in, it's picked up there by Taylor. Nice ball from him, finds Coombs. 
And Coombs is challenged by Wright and wins his side the free kick. It's Tom Beer with it. Out he goes. Not a very convincing headed clearance there. Sonny Miles is in there. All sorts of a scramble. Who's going to have the final shot? It's Fielding. That's charged down. Danger still not over. Turner. Fielding right hand side. Nice little ball. Headed up by Halford. Who's he under this one? It's Tom Beer. He'll fancy it. Oh, good save. I think that was creeping in. 25 yards that uh, shot coming in from Tom Beer. Maybe deserved a goal. In comes Smith's Joseph corner. Is it going to go back in? No, Billericke will fancy the break. It's Akin Wandy going forward now. He's got a player available to his left-hand side in Josh Wright and he finds him. Here's Josh Wright. What can he do with this one? Good tackle. Good defending in there from Craig Bray and Barrett. Can Billericke get it back in? No, they can't. And it's Tunbridge who come away with it. With Aaron Smith, Joseph. Going down the right-hand side. Coombs tumbles in the middle. But Smith-Joseph keeps going on the right-hand side. Turner's available if he can find him. Can he get the ball in? As Coombs also joining the attack. It's off target from Smith-Joseph. But a good break there from Tunbridge. You do perhaps feel that this game has got more and more of a nil-nil all over it. First change for Tunbridge. Tommy Wood coming off the bench. Eight goals this season. Coombs coming off. Straight swap. And Tom Beer floating in the free kick. It's headed out. There's Adam Lovett playing that one forward. And Tommy Wood looks offside. It goes in. And it's given. Tunbridge have taken the lead. What a crucial goal in the context of the season. Tommy Wood, 78 minutes. He did look offside. There was a bit of stunned silence there from the crowd as 500 supporters all turned to their left-hand side to look at the assistant. But he was running up the touchline to give the goal. Let's have a look here. Was it offside? It's played back in there from Lovett. It's a bit inconclusive. You'll probably want to wind the video back and have a look. But Tommy Wood's positioning and Adam Lovett's ball are not in the same shot at the same time. So you can't really tell. It could be Stevenson was keeping Wood on side. But I would say those pitches are inconclusive. The goal is given. And what a crucial goal too. Here's Tom Beer. Out to the right-hand side for Turner. Turner playing the ball in. It comes to Smith. Joseph, it's saved. And it comes back out. Brian Barrett he can try and get a ball in. There are men in the middle if he can find him. Gets it back. Gets a right-footed ball. Well, I was going to say in, but he got underneath that one. And that attack comes to an end. The onus now on Billericke to come forward. Uh, well, I'd say a point probably isn't any good to them. A defeat is... Uh, the end of the world, really, for them, I'd have thought, possibly in the relegation uh, context. This is Tom Beer playing it forward, and it's Tommy Wood. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Tommy Wood, is this going to be the tenth of the season for him and the second for Tunbridge? It is! Tommy Wood scores for Tunbridge, the three points surely safe. And I would say that's the goal that says to me that Tunbridge are safe for the season. It would open up a nine-point gap on Billericke, but in the context of the game... It's 2-0 and surely no time for Billericke to come back from that one. And a short fini finish for Tommy Wood. Double figures for the season. Tunbridge 2, Billericke 0 with 5 to go. Goes up towards Wood, but Billericke clear the ball away. Tunbridge winning it back in the midfield. Wright tries to get it. It's won well by Joe Turner. Here's Joe Turner now for Tunbridge. Plays it out to the left-hand side. Great Brian Barrett in a little bit of space. Tommy Wood waiting for it at the far post. He finds Tommy Wood. It's the hat-trick for Wood. It's not. It is not the hat-trick for Tommy Wood. The flag is up. And that one must have been close. Maybe the old VAR armpit keeping Tommy Wood offside there. But he's denied his hat-trick. And it remains 2-0. And in the context of the game, it doesn't mean very much, really, because the game is already won. As the full-time whistle goes, it's Tunbridge 2, Billericke 0 the full-time. And suddenly that league position looks an awful lot safer for Tunbridge. Four places and nine points now clear of the drop zone. A bit of controversy with the first goal, which was massive in the context of the game. And not a classic, but Tunbridge did what they had to do. Tunbridge 2, Billericke 0 the full-time score.